It needs a little bit of spark, so I guess I ran out there and said a couple words to him and being in the huddle, they had to play a lot more. Uh, team game with friendly competition between you and Stephon Diggs, seeing which Maryland guy can have a better game? Yeah, yeah. Well, I had kept it to myself, but, you know, he was a freshman, and uh, they told me he was from Maryland. I never heard of him since I've been here, and um, I went to him in the game, told me he could be a good player, but I couldn't let that young boy outshine me, so I definitely had to pick it up. <laughs> Is it tougher knowing the defenses are trying to take you away, knowing that you have to make a play and maybe a double coverage and stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot tougher, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, they still got three other people there who can do the same thing as me. You know, Stanley probably didn't have a good game today, but, you know, they, they, they plan on double me next week. Stay, we'll have a breakout game with JD. So, I mean, it definitely is a hard thing. You know. Surprised Maryland uh, controlled your run, or you guys didn't run as well as probably you wanted to today? Yeah, I mean, you know, we'd be definitely, we had a one two punch, how we usually had uh, Sean, you know, he really had too many reps today. But hopefully he get back on that next week and it'll be a different story. How did you get so open on that second one? Um, <coughs> the, what, the man over on top of me just ran to the sideline. He wasn't even looking at me. And I just cut it up. And by the time he looked at me, I was already done for him. Yeah, other time was a mismatch. They had a linebacker on you, right? Yeah, other time was a mismatch. And I just fake inside, went down the middle of the field, and a gentleman just cut through. When you're that wide open, you ever think, oh, God, I better catch this? Or did you, you lose some concentration on balls like that? I mean, they, they are the hardest catches, but you just by yourself. And, uh, you just know you're about to score, but then you got to concentrate in to make the play first, and everything happens for me. Hey, when I talk about having fun while you play, I mean, you play the game like it's fun to play, whereas, you know, there's a lot of guys that play it like it's almost work. I just talk about my family always just telling me, tell me, go there, what you do best, and you go there and have fun, don't stress nothing. Uh, and that's what I try to do. I just still try to be a kid out there and make plays, jump up and down, because at the end of the day, this is what I love to do. So. And how about on the sideline? I mean, uh, when you got other guys around and you look like you were encouraging, like, like a cheerleader almost. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, we both, we both cheering for the defense cheering for us, and we cheering for them. So, you know, at the end of the day, we all live together. And uh, just, just like a role game, you, you go to a role game, it's only a certain amount of there, so you got to change each other on. Happy with the win or disappointed that you didn't win bigger? Say it again. Happy with the win or disappointed that you didn't win bigger? No, I mean, I'm, I'm satisfied with every win. You know, every win not gonna be, a, every win not gonna be a blowout. So, you know, if we definitely forced some challenges today. We had to fight through and we showed that we can. So, you know, I'm definitely satisfied. How big was this game for you, just mentally, as you come into it, Maryland border rivalry, things like that? You know, definitely big for me. My last time ever playing Maryland, you know, and from Maryland, so. It was a little bit on the line. You know, my cousin went to Maryland a couple of years ago, and uh, you know that's just a little couple bragging rights that he never beat me. So <laughs> I mean, so it's not it's a lot of good things on the line. You have a little extra juice today, then I guess. Oh yeah, I definitely had a lot of juice. You know, they couldn't really make it up this week. They, they don't watch my little brother. I know how long I was watching, and you know he, he definitely told him to text my phone and say something crazy. But end of the day, I got the win. Talking to Stedman that they were doing a lot of things with coverages, taking some people away, but they couldn't stop you. Did you get the sense that your number was going to get called a lot today? Uh, I mean, so watch a film, kind of, because they, they, really, they really do a lot of man to man. And I, was, I don't really know what they was doing. But for me, I know they was going to line up the slot. I mean, they, they line back on me. It, 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 they bring some in the game. That's what they did. And I was just, just a thing for me, a couple plays for us. Tavon, you finished your career against Maryland with three straight 100 yard receiving games. Tell me a little bit about that, knowing your connection with Maryland and the university. How's that feel? I mean, it's, it's a wonderful feel. I mean, just knowing I've had 100 yards of all day, every year. And uh, I just got to thank my office. Thank Elvis and Ryan and Gene, you know, the leader of the team. Yeah, he trusted me and I trusted him. And going into the Big 12 play next week, you've got some momentum now going in personally. Tell me a little bit about that and your. Have you seen anything about Baylor? Are you looking forward to conference play? Uh, well, I watched them last night. Uh, they, they had a tough little game, but they came through and won everything. And, um, you know, we're just going to approach every game like it's a national championship. We're going to come and we're going to get to work, and hopefully we can get to win. Save on one game.